How's it going guys, it's Rich Junkie here and this is gonna be part two of the Droid Turbo 2 FRP Bypass. Um, I put that first video out there and instantly got a response from three dudes in Brazil. I would tell you their names, but I'm gonna butcher them so instead I'm gonna put them in the link in the video description down below. Um, definitely those guys are awesome and stepped up and said, hey, if you got that far, try this. So that's what we're gonna do in today's video. So. I'm going to skip all the stuff from the previous video which gets you to this point where you've got this you know, sidebar launcher and you're, you're in the device and you're functional. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up ES File Browser and we're going to install some applications. So if we go to our SD card, you're going to need to put these three applications on your SD card. I don't understand exactly how they all function yet because <laughs> I haven't done this yet. This will be my first shot so you're going to work with me. But these are the three applications right here. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to download this dev owner provisions. So we're going to go ahead and click on that one and install it. Like I said, I'm not exactly sure how this works so or why I need all these applications, but this is what they said, so we're going to try it. Um, so we'll hit done. And then this NFC wake thing, don't exactly know why it's needed as well, but we're going to do it anyway. So install and we're going to say done and then the last one which i think is the most important is this one right here this is a moto file so hit install and it's called test dpc and hit install and this one we're actually going to open up so we're going to go ahead and hit open and we're going to says set up a device manager profile or set up device owner so we're going to say device owner and we're going to say set up and this is going to go ahead and encrypt your phone as part of this process, but we're still trying to get past factory set protection, so just bear with me. Go ahead and hit encrypt. And see, you can't encrypt it. You see, it doesn't, it doesn't let you right here, right? It doesn't let you encrypt it. So from what I've seen, what we need to do is just take a USB cable and plug it into your computer and see if we can get that button to uh, come up where we can actually hit the encrypt phone button. So. Let's just go ahead and try it. Shabam, see it? It now says you can encrypt the phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit encrypt and hit encrypt your phone. And there we go. Now we just went through some basic encryption stuff. So that's pretty insanely awesome, right? I'm definitely loving it. So I think from here is it, it goes ahead and it boots into this encryption mode and goes through the whole encryption. Um, not sure how the computer makes you and allows you to do that, but it does. So pretty insanely awesome. Um, so here we go. That was kind of a reboot at forced when you hit the encryption button. I left this plugged in. I don't know if you need to leave the USB plugged in or not. I think it's just so you can bring up that encryption. But for the sake of it, I'm going to leave it plugged in as we go through this and just see what happens here. All right, so here you go. Please wait, wait, the phone is being encrypted. I'm gonna actually unplug it at this point and set it back up here. And we're gonna wait for the encryption process to finish. We're at 54%. Well, the Android encryption process is 100% now and it's just wrapping up. It took about three minutes to encrypt the device. So really not that long. Pretty happy about that. Um, not too bad at all. So we're going to let it boot back up here and then there's a couple more things we're going to do to fully get factory set protection off the device. Um, hopefully that process will go smoothly as well. So let's let it boot up. Okay, so here we go. We are booted up. We're going to go ahead and hit next. And what should happen here, let's see if it does it. We can go ahead and hit next. And you get this right here, the test DPC. And you're gonna hit setup. And it just talks about what it's doing, everything it's doing is hit okay. And it says set up your device, setting, the device owner. That's the specific and special part about this. So view full screen, okay. 
Not signed in. Set up phone. Interesting. It's, it looks like it's looping here. First time you sign in a Google account, I want to use the last reset because it's haven't done. You have to reset the phone. Okay. So just leave this like it is. Go in here and go and launch your launcher. Well, let's try it again here. Amazon Amazon requires that you look no longer have Amazon blah, 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 blah. Please install the Amazon App Store and sign in with your username and password. Use your apps. All right, so we'll do it this way. We're going to go into settings. And this is a good ways and why you want to have settings in there and have that in there. Have it in, have settings in, in this little application. Uh, I don't want to do that. Go back to settings. Okay. So we're going to scroll down here and we're going to go to backup and reset. Factory data reset. And I'm hoping you guys can't see anything and then it says reset phone. So now we're able to reset the phone. And just says, yeah, okay, erase everything. And this should fully remove factory reset protection on your device. Now, these three Brazilian guys who showed me how to do this, again, are really awesome. Um, and they spent 40 days researching to figure out how to do this, okay? I've probably been researching on the Droid Turbo here for a week and a half, two weeks. Probably two weeks I've been doing it. Um, on and off. I'm not doing it like too big solid, but you know, I've been like every so often I'll pick the phone up and play with some more settings and see what else I can figure out. Um, so it's taken me quite a while to figure this out. And these guys said they've been working on it for, for 40 days. So what a process, what a process. But the Android community comes together and with a little bit of work from me, a little bit of work from these guys, and now we have an insanely awesome bypass for factor reset protection on the droid turbo 2 and this is again on android 6.0 latest firmware from motorola on the droid turbo 2 this process is going to work on a lot of devices that are out there so especially motorola devices because i think that's a motorola application that tests d dsp or dcp whatever application so here we go we've rebooted again and this time we should be able to go through setup and all of your little shortcuts, all your mods and tricks are gone, but we should be able to go through setup and get in and log into any account we want. So that's what I'm gonna show you and get this thing fully functioning. So here we go. Next, phone activation, use Wi-Fi. See, it's already different. Next. Uh, na, 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 na. There we go. I'll hook into my password. Do that really quickly. And actually, if you if you didn't notice that, it actually allowed me to skip there even. So if it's allowing you to skip the Wi-Fi, you know you're done. Skip email setup. Yeah, you you know you're in at this point. So this <laughs> this is uh this is pretty insanely awesome. So it's loading up. It's gonna ask me to put in my Google account. I'm gonna skip it, honestly. I'm gonna skip it, just so we can get in and uh, show you that we have completely bypassed FRP on the Droid Turbo 2. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for this, so this is just insanely awesome. Yeah, this. Yeah, we're good. We're good, skip it. Skippity scap, skipper. Come on. Oh my word, it's being fickle, there we go. Um, yeah, very, very awesome. Again, huge shout out to these guys for helping me out. Um, that's why I put my first video out there is because I figured maybe somebody out there in the world of Android could uh, give me a hand and literally the first comment on the video, first comment, guy says, hey, here's my number, call me, I know how to do that. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Like if I could have just got a hold of somebody like two weeks ago, because I've had this process for a while, I just haven't been able to finish it. So, which this is just pretty awesome, pretty insanely cool. Um, if you guys have devices you wanna see factory set protection bypasses on. I don't have every device. I wish I had every device. I wish I could do it on all these devices you guys ask how to do it because a lot of the tricks you just need to tweak and it'll do this, you'll get through. But 
I'd love to do videos on each device. It's just very, very hard. Um, some people have recommended or have agreed to send me their, their device so I can make a video on it. And actually, this is one of them, the Turbo. This is not mine. Somebody sent it to me. They said, hey, figure out how to do it on this. And so that's what I did. Um, so, you know, I'm willing to do that if people are willing to send me devices to play with. I don't know. It could take weeks, though, or months even to get to it or to get one figured out. But it's just hard to say how it's going to go. Come on, finish up. All right. So, actually, I'm not even going to do a pin just because just I want to get through this setup. It just took a long time on that uh, waiting for a phone there. And done. Boom. 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 All your buttons, your functionality, your pull down. <laughs> yeah. Love it. You guys see how exciting I get for FRP bypasses. They're just so much fun. Oh, that's awesome. All right. There you go. It's done. This is what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to link all the stuff you're going to need in the video description down below. Um, along with those three dudes from Brazil, you got to check out those guys. I'll try to, I can, if I can get like a Facebook page for them or something, I'll try to get some information from those guys and, and, uh, link their stuff down below too. So you can talk to them and, uh, yeah, that's it. Stay tuned for more videos on, you know, the usual phones and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Rude Junkie out.